All right, Rob, um, let's start. You have made it clear. You said you are picking the Boston Celtics to win the championship. Looks like they'll face Dallas, but either way, you're going with the Celtics. And they just completed a dominant run, Rob, through the Eastern Conference playoffs. They were 12-2. and uh, They obviously had a great regular season as well. They won 64 games. By far the best in the league. And they enter the finals, Rob, with a 76 and 20 record over the regular season and the playoffs. Rob, only nine teams have entered the finals with 20 or fewer losses. Eight of the nine went on to win championships. The only one that didn't was the Golden State Warriors in 2017. Remember, that was the year that uh, they were up. Uh, they won 73 games and then right. uh, gave and up then the 3-1 down lead, a 3-1 yep, lead right. to, uh, to LeBron. And so uh, I want to ask you, how good do you feel or how impressed are you with what the Celtics have done thus far, particularly in the playoffs? Man. Well, I mean, it's, it's not pretty. It's just I get it. I can understand, and because of their past history – and just the way that things have happened, and we've seen them play down to their competition sometimes, games where they should win. There's a lot not to like, okay? It's like a pig, Chris. I mean, there's, there's, this ain't pretty. <laughs> but guess what? When you cut it open, I could have pig feet. I could have bacon for breakfast. Pig feet there's a lot pretty. there. There's a lot delicious <laughs> there, okay? I could have a ham for uh, Easter, there's a lot there, Chris, if you cut the pig open and enjoy it. And that's what the Celtics are. Pigs. Just walking around, they don't look good. Is that what you're saying? Yes. <laughs> pork kills. And pork is going to kill the Dallas Mavericks when it comes time to the NBA Finals. Chris, <laughs> look away. Everything's not gorgeous. Everything is not beautiful. Everything's not a work of art. The Celtics are not that. But guess what? They win at a high rate. They just win. Ugly, fugly, mumugly, whatever you want to call it. Wow. They win, Chris. That's all you need to do to win a championship. Do you remember that 2000? What was that? The, the Celtics team was that the 2008? Last time they won. Chris, they struggled their first two rounds. Seven Atlanta game takes series. Them seven. You were looking I, was going. It Cleveland or whoever it was in the second round took them seven. You looked at them and you were like, they're not winning no championship. Right. Look at the struggle. Sometimes the struggle is a part of it. And if we can say 12-2 and two is a struggle, I want to struggle 12-2. and two. I want that to be my struggle, to go 12-2 and two to reach the NBA Finals. I well, understand look. why people don't have confidence. I do, Chris. But I'm going to tell you, you'll be making a mistake if you discount the kind of winning that this team has been able to do. Because ultimately, and I've said it a million times, sports has a short menu. It's wins and it's losses. Well, I look, that's where I do agree with you. Um, in the playoffs, you got one mission, win in advance. Don't matter how, don't matter how pretty it is, how cute it is, what the margin of victory is, win and advance. And you brought it up. 2008 is a great example. The Celtics with Garnett, Allen, Pierce struggled in every round. They went seven, seven, six, and six in the NBA Finals to win the championship. So I agree you can't always just look at the playoffs and say, oh, this team is rolling, this team is struggling, they're going to win it, they're not going to win it. So I, I am with you there, and I do not – Write the Celtics off. I definitely think they have a chance to win the championship. But, Rob, this is worse than ugly. It's not just ugly. This is concerning. And, again, I'm not writing them off, but the way they have played. Rob, we, I don't even have to go into the first two series where they won by five or in five games, and both of the teams, the Heat, Jimmy Butler, the Cavs, 
Donovan Mitchell, and then get Jared Allen is out, maybe their second best player out for the entire series. But against Indiana, Rob, they won in four. Give them credit. But they trailed three of the four games in the fourth quarter. Right. The first game they definitely should have lost. Just some horrible calls by Rick Carlisle, the Pacers coach, allowed left the door open and credit the Celtics for walking through it. But still, that game was over. Then in game three, Rob, the Celtics are down eight points with two and a half minutes left. And going to, they outscored the Pacers 13 to 2 at the end of the game. So credit them for that. But down eight points to a, t- in, with two and a half minutes left to a team that doesn't have its best player in Tyrese Halliburton is just not impressive. And then last night, of course, in game four, they trail again by eight points midway through the fourth quarter and end up pulling it out. Now, a lot of people, Rob, might say, well, that's what Denver did against the Lakers. Or that, that, that's what Dallas is doing against Minnesota and did against Oklahoma City. The difference, I would suggest, Rob, the difference is Oklahoma City, the Lakers, those teams, Minnesota in this series, were better than a, an injury-laden Pacers team. I mean, the Nuggets were doing it to LeBron James and Anthony Davis. All right, and no, so that to me is the difference for the Celtics to let an injury plague Pacers team hang around. I, I is not engender confidence in them. And again, they swept them. They did what they needed to do. But Rob, they have not beaten even when these teams were healthy: Miami, uh, Cleveland, Indiana. None of them won fifty games. And so I don't think the Pacers have been very impressive. I'm sorry, the Celtics have been very impressive. Um, and so 12-2, and two, I don't think it's one of the great historically dominant runs. I think you do have to look at the whole context of who they played, who's healthy, who's not. Um, doesn't mean they won't win the championship. And if they do, Rob, we, we won't even think about all the injuries. But I, I can't sit here and act like I've been impressed with what they've done in the playoffs. I hear you. I said it, Chris. It wasn't. Pre- it hadn't been pretty to look at. But everything that uh, wins is not always pretty. There, are people win ugly championships. Things happen. Things fall in line for you. And I'm, this might be it. They got an easy road. Barely had to. I mean, they won games, but they they lost two games. Just two games. Um and. I think they're going with some experience, going with some confidence, and who knows, they might get a few days. If poor Zingas Chris comes back, he's an added piece that they'll add. They've done right, nothing but win all back. year. Yeah, he should right, be he should back. be back. And they should be in, in good shape, rested, ready to go. And they could have an advantage if Minnesota extends this to six games, which I'm right. not convinced of. I'm I'm not. Because I do believe that uh They'll win the night, but then lose in game five when they go back to Dallas, right? Yeah, that will go back. They would go back to uh, Minnesota. To Minnesota, I mean, right. I mean, if they win the night, and I don't think they're coming back from a 3-0 deficit, but, you know, if they win the night, you got to figure they'd feel good about, you know, going home for game five uh, and then, you know, take your chances. But – yeah, it'd be it'd be nice to see if they can extend this thing and and make it at least a little bit interesting. Because Rob, there have not been two Rob G. Look it up. I know it's been. I don't know if it's ever happened where both conference finals Rob have been sweeps. I'm not sure. I certainly can't remember it. Uh, but I it may have happened decades ago. But that would be interesting if both teams sweep. It will make for nice storylines heading into the finals. And, Rob, you got some good ones. Remember Porzingis played with Dallas. They kind of moved on from him. Right. Remember, he Kyrie couldn't play, with, he couldn't play was, with Luka. Right. Kyrie, Kyrie was hated in was Boston. Boston. Yep. So it would be – and then Boston swept Kyrie when he was in Brooklyn. 
Remember that? You gave the finger, I think, to one of the fans and, and all that stuff. So Is that what it was? Never- I thought he was counting. He was saying that he was number one, I thought. Wasn't that what <laughs> I thought that's what he said. Uh, Rob, <laughs> it has never happened. Rob, you just whispered in my ear. Never it happened. Never, never, never happened. Both. We missed it last season, actually, when the Miami Heat went 3-0 on Boston. Right. And if they had completed right. it. Then it would have been the first ever. Right. And, and there you go. Last year with Miami, Boston, they, you know, Boston got some something to prove after last year too, right? They got a lot to prove. There's no yeah. and, and Rob. I mean, if they don't win this, you wonder are major changes in. Well, the I think that there'll probably be a coaching change for sure, and then really? whether or not you, yeah. if they don't win the championship, you think. It just depends. I was on saying how. that if they didn't get to the finals. Yeah, right? but I, I'd, I'd have to see how it goes, Chris. Like. You would, you would. I'm just saying. I'd have to see how it goes. I'm not saying it's automatic, but right. they could just decide. And I said this before to you, and and it doesn't mean that because Rick Carlisle went on to win a championship, right? But they moved on from him when it looked like he was promising with the Pistons, and they got Larry Brown, and they got over the We've hump. We've seen it happen, Rob Mark Jackson. Right, it, uh, it's they, happened. So all I'm saying is Golden State. Yeah, it depends on how they lose, Chris, and if you think that they were out coached. Or, I, or neither one or, of those or, situations, of course, did anybody. You know who the one got to the finals and it lost his job was David Black. David Black. He, if I remember, he started the season the following season. Yep, but then they got rid of him early right. on, right? And right. he went to the finals. Right. 